New on Live at Daybreak this morning, a local group is helping dogs in need, even when those dogs are from all the way across the world. The dogs you're about to meet are from China and we're facing a terrible fate. Julia Fellow shows how one group stepped in to make sure they get a second leash on life. The 30 hour journey to America is only the beginning of what these dogs may have gone through in their short lives. Today, they are healthy and happy thanks to their new foster parents. Go get it. When I brought them home, it was two in the morning and it took about an hour just to get them out of my car. Now, one-year-old Odin is doing great with Milwaukee's Lisa Southern, who plans to adopt him. She did not realize until he came home that he had lost his left eye. I don't even want to imagine what would have happened to him had he not been brought over. Um, everything I've heard about the China meat trade has been awful. For all we know, she could have been somebody's pet, you know, before she was picked up, uh, you know, by the meat trade. Joel Wellhafer has rescued a golden named Artie, who landed here last month, not doing well. Oh, yeah, yeah, double ear infection. Uh, we, we took her to the vet the next day, and they had to power scrub her ears. Watching these animals come out of their shells, thanks to the organization Wisconsin Adopt a Golden Retriever, has been rewarding to everyone. And she has this permanent smile. I mean, whether her mouth is open or closed, she's always smiling. And he has just brought me so much joy, and every single day that I have him, I'm amazed at his progress. The goal is to save at least seven more this year. Their skin and bones, one had a slab a huge slash across its neck, but for the most part, they think they can save them all. They are working with an animal rights group in China to rescue them. I've also learned about the kindness of others through the people in Shanghai. Adding up the airfare and medical bills, it costs this group $1,000 each to save every dog. They have a number of events coming up next month to raise money, including a golf outing. Head to TMJ4.com and click on the link in the story to learn more. Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.